So Bojan, welcome to Stockholm, Sweden. Now, a little birdie tells me that you campaigned to fight in Europe. Why is that? Uh, I simply, I mean, I'm from Europe and uh, I simply enjoy going around the Europe and uh, meeting new fans. Uh, somehow I realized that uh, European fans are, I mean, European culture in general, uh, they're a little bit passionate about everything. Uh, last night we had here in Stockholm a uh, soccer game, uh, Manchester United uh, versus Ajax. And the fans are all over the street, uh, getting drunk, uh, being loud, you know, and uh, uh, that's all because they're just like hyped about everything. They, uh, whatever is happening, they're like, uh, whatever they're fans of or whatever they uh, kind of follow, they're very passionate about it. And uh, it's the same thing with MMA. Let's talk about Nico Masoke. He's the hometown guy here. What kind of atmosphere are you expecting in the arena when you walk out? Are you expecting to be the villain and Nico be the hometown favorite here? I mean, uh, I'm prepared for hell, uh, for, for fans and for the cage. Uh, so uh, I don't know, I'm excited to experience it. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, my expectations that, that he will definitely have uh, the majority of, the, of support. Uh, I also uh, know that I'm gonna have a couple of hun at least a couple of hundred uh, supporters because um, in Stockholm and uh, Sweden uh, together uh, there's a more than hundred thousand Serbians uh, that that were helping me uh, with my campaign to get on this card. Uh, so I was uh, last couple of weeks I was receiving a lot of messages from uh, from Serbian community uh, here from. Um, from Sweden uh, telling me that they're gonna come support and uh, that they want me to uh, make them proud. Uh, I, I don't like to give promises, but uh, I, I certainly looking forward to uh, to make them proud on uh, Sunday because they're Serbian and they came to support me. That's really awesome to hear. Um, how do you actually kind of take in the atmosphere? So when you're walking out, are you trying to absorb everything or are you trying to block it all out and focus on the task at hand? That's an interesting question. I, I, I haven't uh, thought about it. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I just walk out and uh, I kind of do. I kind of li li like to, to, to like breathe deep dead air and just like feel the, feel the tension in the air and, uh, and kind of that helps me out. Most of the time when I was kind of like, eh, when I was like walking out without any excitement, I would that, that those are the fights that I would usually lose because I'm not fired up. Uh, sometimes I, I like to feel like like I'm alive, like like I'm, when I'm nervous, when I when I see the the, the tension in the air and that the something uh, something crazy is about about to happen. And I'm certain that that's what's gonna happen on, on Sunday. I heard that the arena was, is almost sold out, and I'm pretty excited to. Uh, to walk, to walk out and uh, get in the cage. So with that being said, when you close your eyes and you envision the fight playing out in your head, how do you win and how do you get your hand raised in victory? To get in there and uh, put the great show on and uh, to just uh, beat Nico in every single aspect of the game. Uh, I, don't, I don't see myself losing in any kind of position. Uh, Standing, uh, wrestling, or grappling, I see myself as a as a uh, as a one who who dominates the fight, and uh, that's that that's how I see see it plays out in my head. So we'll see on Sunday. Uh, is it gonna be that way?